Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Oasis Church Online. And I hope you really enjoyed that sermon bumper. Right. Bumper. The bumper. That's a is, new terminology for us. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's bumper. A bumper. Okay. Or intro. This, intro for those of you that are car heads and you think we're talking about a car. Yeah, this is us. This is us. We have been waiting months, um, actually months, to be able to uh, put this out. Yeah. And finally, it's January 10th, 2021. Ooh, I'm so glad 2020 is beyond us now. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Behind? I said beyond, I meant behind. Yeah. You got to go back to last week's service, okay? Get beyond the past. Yeah. Well, okay, I'm and st- look forward. If I'm still drinking Sam's Choice <laughs> Cola in 2021, we got issues. You know, so that is so true. I, uh, it was New Year's Eve, okay? And and, and, and walked Pastor Augie uh, about, you know, about 9, 930, you know, and he walks in with... Uh, <laughs> Not Diet Coke, not Diet Pepsi. Um, he walks Sam's in with Sam's choice. Diet Cola. Yeah, it was all literally the shelves at Walmart and both Walmarts down here were blown out. No soda, no Coke, no Pepsi, no Diet Coke, no Diet Pepsi, none of that stuff. It was Sam's Cola. I wonder why all the cola was gone. It's, it, a, par- it's a pandemic issue. It's yeah, a pandemic. They're hoarding it. <laughs> that and toilet paper. Yeah, they're hoarding it. Okay. Anyway. So, anyway. Hey, you know, we want to take the next six weeks and really begin to talk to you in depth where we believe God has us over um, the next few years. And we're excited about it. Um, We're excited about, you know, where we believe God wants to go and and to take us. And so uh, let's just let's start. okay? and, you know, I guess the 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 very first question you might be asking is, you know, how did we get here? You know, and sure. you know, this church, believe it or not, is 29 years old. Um, we were Dang. just, yeah, we were looking at that. And, and next year, we're going to celebrate our 30-year anniversary. Um, we're going to have a big shindig or whatever it is, okay? Mm. And um, the, over 30 years, um, it doesn't matter, over just a few years, uh, you begin to drift, okay? And it, it's easy, you know, and, and you begin to drift off of where we really need to be considering where church is today, and where we need to be in order to be able to minister to the community that lives around us. Um, and so, you know, as we were kind of playing this out, you know, we've just, it's been two years now that we've come back together, Ecclesia, Oasis, and we basically brought two very good churches. And can I say good churches? Ecclesia was doing a good thing. Oasis was doing a good thing, but neither of them were great. Right. Okay. And... There's kind of a way of Ecclesia was doing things. There's kind of a way Oasis was doing things. And we wanted to make sure that we had a fresh vision from God to be able to take this congregation, everybody rowing the boat in the same direction towards the same goal. And so we sat down to come up with a new vision, a new direction, a strategy, if you want to call it that, of being able to go after what God has called us to do. And so we went to work. Okay. Yeah. And we're just talking like we're basically kind of taking the best portions of each place yeah. and figuring out a way to communicate better the things that we're doing and, the, and, and why we're doing what we're doing. It's really about communication and it just is. P- picking the best practices and where we're going and then helping people understand because... Y'all here had terminology, find, do, share, and we had different terminology. So it's like, okay, we're bringing these different groups together. Let's all get on one page. Right. And so this really, we literally have a one pager, right? We, we have do. A one we page do have a document. one page. So when we say we all want to be on the same page, we hopefully will be able to show you that eventually, and you'll know exactly what that one page is. And, and you know, uh, to give us a little bit of credit, because you're saying, well, hey, this is year two, okay? And you're just now coming up with a one page. It's been a rough, you yeah. know, been rough. It has been rough because, you know, we had all these intentions and uh, we really wanted to roll this out last year. And unfortunately, we just couldn't um, or, or we chose not to. Yeah, we and, chose not to. And, you know, I guess we could have, but we're, we were missing, you know, two thirds of our congregation. And now we're going to go forward. We're going to go forward um, online and we're going to go forward in person. Um, and it, it's time because um, I did an article for Portraits. You, 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 yeah. you actually helped me with that. And one of the questions they asked me is why, why refocus? Why, you know, have a new strategy, vision, direction? Look, I believe this. Eternity is at stake. 
okay? And I know that all you doom and gloomers think that Jesus might come back tomorrow, and he may very well, all right? But there's eternity at stake for the community in which we live in. Mm -hmm. and, and we have to be at our very best. Good is good, but let's be great for Jesus, okay? And um, what we believe is the framework, what we have, will help push us in that direction. And, and I, I'm excited because as we communicate this, my prayer is that every single one of us that calls Oasis their home church, okay, whether you're online with us or whether you're um, here in person, that this isn't just something that the leadership is going to adopt. This is something that, and, and it, we're just not going to adopt it while we're here at church. Right. This is going to be a, a part of our DNA as individuals, okay? Um, because, and I'll talk about this, you know, later on. If it, if it doesn't really resonate within us, if this is just words on that one sheet of paper or um, we have new banners and wall art and uh, we have all these things to help us communicate, if, if it's just words on a piece of paper and it, it's never going to take off, mm -hmm. okay? And, and, and so it's got to be a part of us. It's, it's got to be something that you say, hey, I'm behind this, okay? This sounds good, Okay. And so we're going to break it out over the next six weeks. That's kind of the yeah, why. little by little. Yeah. Talk about the different aspects of the vision, the vision plan, the one pager. Yeah. And uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take uh, next few weeks and just take a little portion at a time. So today what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of overview it. Yeah. I think that's what we maybe titled today, overview or something like that. You'll talk a little bit. I'll talk a little bit. We're not going to hit it all um, details wise, because we plan to get into details very specifically over the next few weeks. Um, and we'll have some graphics for everyone to see. If you come in person, you're going to see a bunch of different changes and decor and things here with flags, like you said, and banners and things like that. So, um, additionally, um, we have a, we're trying this for the first time recording by ourselves here. Right. Um, and so not sure what we're going to have for, you know, scrolling words and things like that. We're going to do our best to keep you guys online informed of the terminology and graphics and things like that. But I'm not sure that the, all that's going to happen. But we do have it here in person. So. so over the next six weeks, this is what I want you to do. If you hear something that you've got a question about, and going, I'm not sure how this plays out. And, and today's probably not the best day because it is. It's just going to yeah. be an overview. But as we get into the more in depth in this, if you've got a question, I'm not sure how that's going to work. What's that going to look like? Um, what does that mean for me? Okay, now that's what people sure, want to yeah. know. Yeah. Is what does this mean for me? I want to encourage you. Okay, I want you to email us. All right, you guys got our email address, Bob at OasisYuma.com. That's a real original. Or Augie at OasisYuma.com. And you can email us your questions. Also, we're going to send out every week when this series begins, kind of a Monday morning recap of what we talked about on Sunday. Okay, that's going to come out from Miriam through Planning Center, and she's going to send out a church-wide email just so you have it um, in so many different formats because it's really important that we communicate this. And honestly, we have to communicate it clearly, okay, so people will understand it and say, ah, I'm behind that. I get it. Okay. Yeah. And there's, I mean, there's some things that y'all may have questions about or concerns that we haven't talked about yet or even Maybe. thought about. Yeah. And we want to know those beforehand. You know, if we're, if we have a huge gap in this plan, man, I don't think we do, but maybe you see something that we haven't, we may not have the answer to the question. Uh, we may not have that answer, but that'll give us time and opportunity to figure out how do we address that. Right. I mean, I think we got most of our bases covered in this stuff, but you know, we want to hear from you whether you agree and maybe there's a disagreeing thing. We want to know that so that way we can address some of those things. Right. Yeah. Okay. So why don't you kick us off, Augie? We, we've worked hard on this mission statement and um, why don't you just kind of overview a little bit of that mission statement? Sure. So... Our new mission statement, you know, we've had several here. I've been here since, uh, man, I can't, probably two, year 2000. So walking it's been a in long love. time. Yeah, not on staff, of course. So just a member here. We had walking in love. And then uh, we had bringing, you know, bringing life to the desert. We had all these different things. But um, here's our new mission statement. I'm going to read it to make sure that I get it word for word, that Oasis Church exists to lead our community 
our community to life transformation found only in Jesus. That's our mission statement. When we sat down and, and, and talk, not just you and I, but our team, right. uh, just to talk really quickly, we, we've, we've run this stuff by our core team. Right. And then also our small group leaders, yep. the elders. This wasn't just, just so you know, this wasn't just you and I sitting there saying, nope. oh, what do we want to do? <laughs> um, that would have been much easier, of course. Um, but yeah, so this mission statement that Oasis Church exists to lead our community. So lead them, lead our community to life transformation found only in Jesus. Uh, there's a few key words there that next week I'm going to really dive deep down into. Um, that's community. We're a community church. We want to be about the people that live in this area. We know that in this area there are broken homes, there are drug addictions, there are all kinds of things happening right around this building, right around this location. Yeah. We want to be a community church. We want to be a church that is that is effective reaching the people around us. We don't want to just reach people, you know, way far away or whatever. We want to be about this place. We know that in this place in this community that there are people that need life transformation yeah that's another key part of it a real life transformation uh, we want oasis to be a place where orphans are adopted mm -hmm. where marriages are healed where where homelessness is figured out where god is glorified where jesus is honored we want to be a place where you know finances our, our debt is paid we want to be a place where we see real life transformation in the people that come here and even the people that don't right we want to be an influence to the community right around us and we know that all of those things so there's a community part there's the life transformation part and then that last part life transformation found only in jesus yeah um, that we know that we could try really hard to start social programs or whatever, but it is the power of Jesus that's going to make those things come true in those people's lives. And so the mission statement is all about us being a community force to help life transformation, help, you know, help that happen all around us, but all of that focused on Jesus. Mm -hmm. So Oasis Church exists to lead our community, to lead our community to life transformation found only in Jesus. That's, that's the, that is the mantra. That is the phrase that we that's want it. you. Next week, I'm going to talk a lot more about it, but I want you to know that. I want it to be sewn into your underwear. I want it to be the thing that you repeat time and time again when you come here. So sewn into your underwear may be a bit much. That's a stretch. You know what I mean? It, it, well, my underwear definitely stretches, especially now. But anyway, that, that's, that's really what we're going for. Yeah. Yeah. Excited about that next week, right? Yep. Next gonna go week. into it in depth. Yep. Next week after that, okay, we're going to talk about values. And uh, we do. We have five values here that we believe are important. And, and uh, just a brief overview with you. You know, values are crucial to our church because they, they define us. They okay. They, they, they answer the question of who are we, okay, and what's really important to us. Now, we learned in our training Values sometimes are, you know, they're the DNA of our church. They are sometimes they're uh, aspirational. Mm. Um, and, and in other words, we want to be that, right. okay? We aspire to it. We aspire to be that. And then there are sometimes uh, those values are already mm. being, uh, what's the word? Um, they're, they're, we, already, we already live them out. They're yeah, already real for us. We're they're, practicing them yeah. already. And yeah. so we came up with five different values, and they all start with the letter R. And these are words that hopefully uh, are going to be a part of us and a part of you. Um, in the near future. And, th and those words, okay, are real. Real. Right? Um, relevant, okay, relational. The last one is, or I'm sorry, radical. Radical. And then the last one is rooted. Rooted. And so those are our five values. And um, when you have values, these, this is what keeps the boat going in the same direction. Because when we start to measure ministry and we start to answer tough questions, uh, when we answer, do we do this or we don't do that, we measure it based on, does that match our values? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does it, does, our, does it match our mission statement? And does it measure who we are and what's important to us? Okay. And 
we're going to talk about each of those values, and we're going to talk about um, some biblical examples of those values. And then we're going to look at specifically how do those values flesh out here at Oasis Church, and that's going to come in week three, all right? And yeah, we do that because, I mean, there's so many things that a church can do. There's, there's some churches in town that do incredible things, you know. Um, I'm thinking of Church Down San Luis Gethsemane as an incredible food ministry, yeah, yeah. right? But it's not necessarily what we're called. It's a great thing. But if that doesn't line up with our values and, and how we're gifted, then we're not going to do it. And so it, the values help us determine where we're going to be going in certain directions or whatever. So they're, they're really important. Um, the third part of our of the whole thing is our strategy. How do we do what we do? And here at Oasis Church, we have a we have new words for you. They used to be find, do, share. Right. Ooh, I just spit. That was nasty. Um, but it was find, do, share. Now, what are they? Gather, grow, and go. Gather, grow, and go. So we've got three G's. Um, the that GGG's a test? words, that's a test. Okay. That was a test to make sure you were on. I'm on. Um, but yeah, find, do, and share are now gather, grow, and go. And, and part of the part of the reason why we're doing all this is because for many years, I know, you know, I've been here for many, many years. Um, we really didn't talk about find, do, find, find, do, share too much. No, not it really. It just really no. wasn't. And so we are going to hammer gather, grow, and go into your brain, um, into the bulletin, into the fabric of what we do here, because we really want you to understand how all of the stuff that we're doing works together. We're going to gather people here and in small groups and in our community, gather them in order to equip them, which is the growth. So we gather them like in worship and small groups, things like that, in order to equip them which is the grow part, to live radical lives and taking that radical life transformation that we're talking about and going, so we're gathering people, we're growing them, and we're sending them out where they're going to go and gather more people. It is this big circle, and we have some logos and some things like that that hopefully you understand how you go from, well, if you're watching, you're gathering and you're growing and you're going, and it's this circular thing uh, we really want it. It's just it's just a visual thing right. to help us understand how we do what we do and why we do it and how everything that we're doing here works together for the greater good. So we'll talk much more about that in depth on week four, I guess. Week or, four. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, week four. And then what about the last one, the measurements? Well, the, the measurements and, and everything that we do, um, we need to measure. And, and so week four five of this, we're going to talk about some measurements for our strategy of gather, grow, and go. What they are is they're not necessarily um, church measurements per se, because like I said, the church is going to go as the individuals go in our church. So these are going to be individual questions that we need to begin to ask ourselves that relate back to our strategy. Am I growing? Am I gathering? Am I going? Mm -hmm. Am I gathering? And Mm -hmm. am I gathering in small group? Am I gathering in worship? Am I gathering out in the community? Am I? And so these are questions we're going to ask ourselves. And and specifically, we're going to talk about accountability. Um, Because just think about this. If, if, If we're rowing a boat right now, and I keep using the boat illustration, okay, but we're rowing the boat. Okay, Augie and I are rowing the boat. All right. But if I stop rowing the boat, Okay. Start going that way. Uh, or maybe, you know, uh, and now we're not, we're not working together. Right. Okay. Or better yet, if we don't, if, if Augie is doing a completely different strategy, okay, and, and I'm doing the gather, grow, and go strategy, and he's rowing the boat that way, and I'm rowing the boat this way, we ain't going anywhere real no. fast. No. I don't think that's really good English. Spinning but, circles. Yeah. We're, we're, and, and so we're going to talk about accountability. And, and, and we're going to talk about specific individual accountability because let's face it, if I as an individual and you as an individual and whatever of 300, okay, individuals are gather, growing, and going, then the church will gather, grow, and go. Yeah. But it won't take too many people to say, you know what? I don't want to do it, okay, before we're kind of, again, fighting ourselves. Yeah, and okay. that's part of this whole process that... We want everyone 
to know exactly where we're heading. And so this is an on-ramp and an off-ramp. There's yeah. going to be some people that are like, yes. And there's going to be some people like, no. Yeah. I hope there's no no's. Yeah, but we there hope are going not, but... to, I'm sure there are going to be some that may, well, I don't really like that. But at least you all know right. where in, in our leadership's head, where we're going. Expectation. Yep. What's expected because, you know, it's more than just online, just sitting online, and it's more than coming in person. There's mm -hmm. an expectation that we're living this as individuals, okay? Yep. Uh, that this isn't my church strategy when I put on my church hat on Sunday morning. This is my, you know, everyday, you know, strategy of how I choose to live my life, okay? And so that's kind of where we're going in week five. And then we got week six, mm -hmm. all right? And week six is going to kind of be a recap, and we've got some surprises, okay? Yeah. Uh, some surprises for week six that we just don't want to tell you about, okay? And it gives us time to, you know, make changes because all of this is, you know, we, we, we've we prayed through this, we, we've figured all this out, but man, if, if all of a sudden we're seeing these new things, we may have to change the series a little Absolutely. bit, talk two weeks about mission or, yeah. or whatever. So we want some grace in the planning of it all to be able to get it all out to you as well. I'm excited. Yeah. It's, it's pretty it's, cool. It's, it's nice to finally get to the point to where we're starting to unveil this. Well, yeah, having sitting on, having been sitting on it for months is just kind of weird. It's like, we do all this work and we were really like focused on it. And then it just, just kind of sat. And so I'm, I'm ready to move forward for yeah, sure. Me too. Me too. So let me talk to you. I want you to be here. Okay. Whether you're online or in person, I don't want you to miss one. Okay, we have three platforms for you to be able to watch. Again, there's no reason for us to miss any. You can go to Facebook anytime, YouTube anytime, and you can go to church online um, on Sunday mornings to watch it online uh, with us as well. But uh, make sure, please, okay, if you call Oasis Church your home church, watch these videos, be here in person, um, ask your questions, okay? Um, like, uh, nothing, uh, but uh, I got to we want you to understand, yeah. okay? Uh, we want you to understand. And so if, you, if you've got questions, please do um, kind of the overview. A lot of, uh, there are probably a lot of questions out there right yeah. now, okay? But wait till we get there, okay? And then ask your questions. And right? pray that God would speak to your heart about what your involvement in this is. Like, uh, you know, we, we went into this process pretty open-minded, you know? I mean, we... we we, we said, God, you're going to have to speak to us. You're going to have to lead us. We're asking you to, for a fresh vision. We're asking you for these things. So you also are going to need to, to go into this and continue to be in prayer about the, you know, the refocus process from your own heart. Because it could be that you're used to some things and we may make some changes that you don't like or whatever. It doesn't mean that you just got to leave. Maybe God's doing something new in your own heart that you need to be ready for. And so be in prayer about it. Be, be in prayer for your church staff, your elders, as we roll these things out for the next you know, few months and years and things like that. We need your prayers. And so pray for yourself. Pray for us. Pray for the church. Pray that we would truly lead our community to life transformation found yeah. only in Jesus. That's what my prayer has been for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me pray, okay? And then uh, I certainly hope to see you back next week, okay? I'll be here. you be here? I'll be You're here. You're leading next week, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's pray. God, thank you again for being our God. And thank you for providing life transformation that can only be found in Jesus Christ. God, that is our heart cry before you this morning that we would be able to reach our community uh, with the life transformation of Jesus Christ. Help us to do that. God, there are so many um, different ways and so many different needs out there. Help us to establish uh, in this community the answer. God, I pray that you are going to, again, um, just begin to work on the hearts and lives of people that are listening, uh, Father, those that are attending, I pray, Father, that you will begin a fresh, brand new work uh, in the life of Oasis Church. God, you're good, you're worthy to be praised, and may you again bless us as we endeavor to serve you um, in so many different ways. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. God bless you guys. We'll see you next week. Love you. Bye-bye.